up, everybody? Welcome to the Through A Podcast. I'm your host, Jerks. Uh, I think for the first time ever in our podcasting history, it's all of us. The, the Avengers <laughs> have finally the assembled. Time. The third time. Is it third time? Uh, I don't keep track. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we don't fact check here. Uh, we got <laughs> JD McCanny. What's up? We got oh. Public Enemy oh. 59. And we got JP Linkser 101. Hey, man. Day whatever in quarantine. <laughs> quarantine. It's, 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 it's bad, y'all. It's bad. All right, let's get into the first topic here. Let's go into gaming. Game over. Game over. All right, Fortnite back in the news after everybody was shit talking them. They dropped. Still alive. <laughs> they dropped the Travis Scott concert live in Fortnite. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was kind of lit. It was yeah, really it was good. Badass. It was it really was... good. Look, like, the, anim- the animation was great. All right, I don't know why he chose Fortnite. I don't. I mean, I guess because for everybody, the kids, for the kids, it's a popular really, platform was, right now. Was it? You know? was it what, it, were there cuss words in that? No, they censored <laughs> the cuss words. Yeah, they censored the songs. I mean, come on, bro. Like, yo, it was a like, trip though. It was it was really entertaining to watch. Like, we were streaming it and like. I was like, wow. I was mesmerized. I thought it was going to be like the marshmallow one. The marshmallow one was more like in a concert setting. Like there wasn't much like, like, like difference from watching it like in person per se. But yeah. this one, this one was like, it felt like Travis Scott, like his, his out of the world kind of like scene, like his vibe. Like it, it felt like Travis Scott. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a trip, man. Uh, it really was. Kind of Travis creativity was kind of taking the player through. Uh, I liked it, man. I mean, a bunch of people that haven't played Fortnite in forever jump back in, and it has to be like one of the bad, most badass experiences in video games ever. Badass. Because, yeah, man. Uh, it really was. It was really cool. Like, bro, he sounds better animated than he does in a real live concert. Well, like, shit. You know, like on. I was saying earlier, you got to think on. about it. Don't, most of that no. stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. You got to think about it. most of this stuff is pre-recorded. You know, that's why you get. Like, when you hear stuff on the radio, exactly. you don't hear the same live because. They do that intensely to make it sound better. No, yeah, no, but I think I think you hear that whatever. that type of like sound from like any rap concert because I think well, yeah, that, for the most part that's how they sound like. That's why I don't go to rap concerts. They sound like shit. And that's why <laughs> you see a lot of people lip syncing. Go to Fortnite concerts. Yeah, the yeah, lip syncing yeah, is so much better than their actual live performance. Hey, I watch. I watch J Cole in Fortnite. I'll tell you that much. I watch J Cole. But anyway, uh, I, I think I think merging the two worlds of pop and gaming is always going to escalate things in a good way because let's say right now it's Travis Scott later down the road it might be another artist to, to do a yeah, different yeah. format of Travis a Scott was a sick and Doja Cat I want they, Doja Cat Fortnite Fortnite's had uh, Marshmallow he's like a DJ they've had um they did some reveal stuff for the for Star Wars before the last movie came out yeah uh, they yeah. had JJ Abrams there uh, they had uh, what's his name from the from the oh they had the a Game movie Awards. like a screening yeah they had a, a screening of... in in Fortnite where yeah. they showed like a clip of the that, that, that was pretty uh, cool Rise of Skywalker uh so I mean Fortnite is no is is not a stranger to these type of like uh like events but this last one honestly it, it was more than I expected it was like I, I knew we were gonna have a concert I thought it was gonna be more like kind of like marshmallows. But man, it was amazing. But uh, they said yeah. twelve and a half million people turn out for it. Twelve and a half million people, dude. And then yeah. on top of that, uh, I think the concerts are happening like I think twice a day up until today, Saturday, which is our recording day. So yeah. I mean, if you guys want to go, on, so Travis Scott's getting that bank. That oh paper. yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. You they they even have papers. like his skin in there. They have like him doing the the thing where he was like holding up the the the, the mic stand. Yeah, they have like an emote for that. Yeah, they have his head banging like. Yeah, he's making some money off of that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bro, like, I'm telling you, like, there's there's nothing but good that comes out of this when you involve pop with gaming. Um, the only thing is, like, uh, like I said, it's just, I wish he, he would sound like that in real life. Maybe I would go to his <laughs> concert, uh, but he sounds like trash. That's um, the reason why I don't go to live concerts, because they never, I like the like, way they sound on the radio. I don't want to hear them, yeah. you know, they, when they sound live, they don't sound the same. So, Perhaps. But maybe for, Fortnite, you know, is just starting something, because who knows, maybe they can start something in video games moving forward, where they can release music, or release a song, maybe an Animal Crossing. Uh, well, yeah, that was, that was their, sorry, like, thing, Taylor too, with the Marshmallow thing, was that it was the first concert held, like, in a video game. So, like, mm-hmm. so they're kind of, like, paving that way. So maybe mm-hmm. yeah, I'm I'm sure sure we're gonna see something more like this again. Like I do, yeah. like, I like I like it too. Like if they're gonna continue doing it, I, I, now I have an idea that they will be be like crafting these events 
per artist, per event, per like whatever the X reason is. And what perfect is. timing! Everyone's well, home. Yeah, yeah. You got to think about it though. That this this doesn't just happen. This takes planning. You got because you right. got to create the skins. You got to do all that kind of stuff. So this had to been planned already before. Yeah, yeah. You're right. It's just perfect timing that it, it happened when timing. during coronavirus. So it was perfect for him. But like, yeah. what you doing tonight, man? I'm going uh, live to Travis Scott mm-hmm. concert <laughs> in Fortnite. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. free. What, what are you? It, it's free. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Right. I'll, I'll meet you there. I'll get the drinks too. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, Speaking of free Xbox Series X, uh, well, so far has been like touted an, again the most powerful console and whatnot. But we got a little bit more for it. We got the logo reveal for the Series X. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Man, it looks like I think they're screwing with a good thing. They're screwing with a good thing. Yeah. Keep the same logo they've had before. <laughs> Stop trying to Man, change I- it. Yeah, like this fucking stupid. Your Xbox, bro. That's the thing. Okay, look, maybe, maybe because once again, going back to, I'm an old gamer. I'm set in my ways. I don't like change. Your Xbox, that Series X looks like shit. Like, oh my god, like there was no keeping in that shit. And you know what this shit tells me? And I hate saying this. Like, I'm losing hope that Xbox X is gonna really be better than PlayStation. PlayStation Five, they just released a control, and you're like, god damn, that shit looks nice. Like, even I'm like, god damn, it does look nice. I'm well, it's gone both sides of the map on that one. Yeah, I mean, no. Yeah. That Xbox X is like a fucking uh, square rectangle box yeah. like she just put on there. And then, like, they had, like, that little stupid X that in the, in the, the middle disappeared. It doesn't even make sense. Like, just stick to me, Xbox. it looks like they're taking inspiration from Tom Brady's logo, the TV12 <laughs> logo. <laughs> He's a champion, shit. He's a champion, multi-champion. I think if you're going to steal from anybody... Steal from a champion because he stole a lot. Yeah, so I'm, I'm he, stole a lot. he sure still. You know, he stole a lot. He stole three Super Bowls. It could be we're just seeing all we're seeing is the, is the static emblem. Maybe when it's animated, it looks a lot better. I don't know. Right Uh-oh. now, initial report. Yeah. Uh oh. Microsoft. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's getting What's really that? digital with this right now. Yeah, he's getting really digital. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> but speaking of digital, actually, Microsoft also. Uh, I don't remember. I don't. I, I don't remember. We talked about this, but I, I think there was a uh, there was like rumors released that there will be another announcement soon from Xbox regarding uh, the the lower res model of the Xbox Series X. So like the like the low low end model to it. I think we're should, we, we're gonna get like some kind of information about that pretty soon too. Why? It, why? Why is Xbox? That already looks like a low res model. What the hell? What, dude, I don't understand Xbox. Like, you want people to buy that? Oh no, you know what? We have a lower resolution. Like that's. Oh my god, man! Fucking Xbox, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Like all this shit is stupid to me because you don't see PlayStation being like, oh, we have a lower resolution model. Like, <laughs> if you're gonna want our shit and our shit's badass, you're gonna pay for our shit. I know. And you I, know love what I, mean? I love this. I love this. As I say, it's. An incon- inconsequential detail, but it does warrant special attention. After all, gamers will quickly realize what it is once they start playing this holiday season. Uh-oh. We already know what the Xbox is, the Xbox symbol. You can't d- mistake it for anything else. I mean, you you see that green and white X going on with this, you know, thing going on there, and you know exactly it's Xbox. And right Los is happy. Los is happy. That's why he's not saying shit. <laughs> Los is happy right now while stupidity Xbox is doing. No. Fucking dumb. I mean, uh. Why? I mean, I think the the model they had this generation where they have a cheaper model and then an expensive model. I think it worked well for them. People bought whatever the hell they wanted. Yeah. I see. I think giving people an option isn't a bad thing. If you want the most expensive, powerful one, go for that one. If you just want to play the games and you don't really care about graphics, you go with the cheap one. Yeah. How do you not you care deal? about graphics when you play video games? Who would I, oh, you know what? Let me buy the lower model because it has lower graphics. I don't want the higher graphics. Everybody wants good graphics, high uh, high no. quality. Everyone wants that. Everyone no. wants to bring their gaming. That's the reason why everyone's bitching and spending tend to get a better Switch. because they No, they feel that's like why the upgraded. Switch is sold out because everybody was buying it because it's cheap. They don't care about graphics. They just want to play something during quarantine. Now you can't find a fucking Switch. That's true. So, I've been looking for a Switch. I haven't found one. There you go. Maybe they, I can find one digital. Shut uh, that shit up real quick. Moving on to our final uh, <laughs> topic here in gaming, Final Fantasy Remake. Final Fantasy VII yeah. Remake. Uh, nobody's here has played it but Los? Oh, no, no, but JP? Yes. Has anybody else the played it? The game's trash. No, I've, <laughs> seen... <laughs> I've seen people play it. I've, I've seen it in the digital, and I like the way it looks. It really. I, look I like better. the way it looks. I, 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 won't, yeah. I was just, I'm just waiting for it to release on other platforms. Let me yeah. say this. Square Enix, graphic-wise, knock this out of the park. 
This fucking game is fucking amazing. And Adam Crossy still beat it in sales. Um, <laughs> it's it's trash. Not, it's not gonna ah, be like sales trash, still beat it worldwide. In sales. Not only that, the graphics are amazing. The sound quality, the music, is fucking yeah, Animal amazing. Crossing music is um, As far as the gameplay, <laughs> I, I would say I would say Square Enix once again changed the format, took a risk in changing this format of uh, that because you know how it's like turn based. Uh, in normal yeah. Final Fantasy, they took that out and they made this yeah, action based, and okay. it is awesome. They kept the same materia. You Final Fantasy nerds know what I'm talking about. They kept the same yeah. materia format, uh, so it worked so well. They didn't need to change that. They basically kept everything that was great about the original one and just ampl- amplified it uh, to a certain extent. As far as oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm sorry. Hey, guys. did you? Uh, did hey, you, you know it? what? Uh, I'm, so, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, Final ahead. Fantasy VII Remake was released April 10th, right? Yes, and then, I believe. And then uh, Animal Crossing was still released on March 10th, uh, March 20th. I'm not March sure. March 20th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, March 20th. Yeah. It was r- way before the Final Fantasy. So right. really, I mean, you can already start comparing the sales. Nah, nah, I'm gonna wait till May. I'm gonna wait till May. I'm gonna yeah, wait till May. I, I look, I'm gonna I'm just tell you guys like this. I think that uh, I, I, I'm not gonna give spoilers. Uh, I, I'll think outside of one thing. Um, well, t- maybe two things. They kept everything the same as is, and the graphics are amazing. It's more um, movie. It's like a movie, but a video oh, yeah. at the same time. It was one of the first and, ones to start doing that. Yeah. Yeah, and this I'm one. All- I, I'm gonna get the game. I just haven't been able to find a physical copy. I don't want to buy a digital. Um, no, don't buy a digital. Have you beat the game? Have you, uh, buy, have, have you beat the game, Jason? I have to. Or you're almost there. I beat the game on classic. I need to beat it on hard now, and then. I'll Damn. Be done. Okay. Yeah. No, I want to get this game, uh, and I feel like it's one of those. Yeah, games I want to get too. Yeah. I want to have it in my hands. No, I, I, wanna, I, I, I recommend it. I can it. get a digital right now, but I'm going to just wait out this whole thing and get it a physical no. copy. Cause... Hey, I'm going to be honest. Like I told everybody in Resident Evil 3 to, uh, in our hump day show um, out to wait. This one, don't wait. Get it. It's a really good game. It's worth it. The playability is awesome. Um, the game of the year? Comes out, uh, it's very, I, think, I think Cyber 20, Cyberpunk is going to beat it, but this should have been the game of the year. Animal uh, Crossing is game of the year. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, but we'll I put that on the side show so you guys yeah. can make that as some of the show. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, Square Enix knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, my only complaint, I think, on this game is they made it too. <laughs> Everyone's gonna bitch at me, but they made it too short. <laughs> well, I think what? this is supposed to be part one. This is part one. I feel like I think you so. want. I think it's like one get... of three, or yeah. I think there was yeah. rumors of one of three or one of seven, some shit like that. Bro, yeah, it's long. Sure. It's long, but because you, you don't feel even like like because like this whole section wasn't even that long in the original one. Yeah, and like, dude, like it fucking sucks, man. Because you want when you're done with the game, you want to get the second one. You want to. Be... Where's the other part? Mm. And yeah, like, according to, according to there. CNET, Ooh, it's that's gonna another be five years. It is a multi-part uh, project. It's almost released separately, so. I can't wait another five years, dude. I want, I want, yeah, I want this game. No, I think, I think it's another coming out. Years, I think it's coming out next year. I think that's why they waited uh, a year for the uh, for the exclusivity for PlayStation. Bro, because I'm telling you right now, man, this fucking game is awesome, uh, worth the money. Um, but like I said, it, it, I feel like it should, they so should Tifa? Make... Oh, Tifa? bro, Tifa looks oh, hot. Oh my god! All right, Tifa is hot, bro. all right, all right. Everyone's Final Fantasy Seven, go get hey, it, guys. I'm, I'm not... Hey, moving on. I'm telling you. They look, oh, by the way, guys, there's c- certain options that you pick. Moving uh, on. Uh, so it is. It, it has that Mass Effect format. Too. Are the proportions so, yeah. good? The proportions. Oh, Sports. <laughs> okay, so, all right, all right. So it looks like part two is going to be released to play. Anyway. Touchdown! It's a home run. <laughs> all right, real, real quick, real quick. It looks like part two is going to be released for the PS5. Is what they're looking like. Uh, yeah, of course. This is the so. last year for the PS4. PS5, yeah. JP. I am gonna get a PS5 and an Xbox. Uh, wow! At turn, the same time. I'm gonna say, All right, yeah, sports. I guess it's a home it. run. I guess the games are worth it. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> guess the game catalog is real good, huh? Sports. <laughs> All right, remember it's uh, an empty stadium, so. Oh. Uh, space swords. Space swords. The NFL draft. Uh, Even yes. though we're all Yay! in the quarantine, still happened. So uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna let Los take it from here because I don't watch that. Well, <laughs> I, I watched. I watched a little bit. Shout out to CC Lamb. I, wait, well, how were they name. even showing it? 
Okay, let me. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, so okay, okay. They, they had videos of like the players in their home with their family and friends, and then were they, they all wearing masks six feet apart from each other? No, they weren't. They were yeah. all on the same sofa. But the yeah, funny but... one was the wide receiver that the Dallas Cowboys uh, got because when they when they when they uh, they drafted him, he was on the phone. He had two phones. He had one on his lap. And he had one that he was talking to, to Jerry Jones, and then right next to him was his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And she went and she grabbed his other phone, and this motherfucker goes, "Nah, girl, let me have my phone back. Oh. You were looking through my shit." <laughs> and on live TV, bro, video. He went, and it went viral. Oh. Yeah, it went viral. They're like, "Yeah, no, it don't matter if I'm getting drafted. You ain't touching my phone, girl." <laughs> oh my that God. shit was hilarious. But uh, go ahead, Los. I just want to point that out. Uh, Burrow went number one quarterback. Uh. Went number one to Cincinnati. I think he's going to do good, by the way. I really think he, he, he looks the part. Cute. Looking the part, I mean, is one thing. I've I mean, seen yeah. Ryan a Lee. bunch of QBs go first pick. And we, I mean, we lived through one. David Carr. No. Uh, the Browns Russell. can use all the help they can get, so. Um, <laughs> so, well, the Bengals. So, the Bengals, um, oh, they no, went I'm with sorry. Burrow at one. Do we think? Do I think he's going to be successful? Uh, I mean, we'll see. I think, I think he is. I think he is. Uh, I think he and is. the second round, they went ahead and got a, a wide receiver. Or later in the first, I think, they got a wide receiver uh, to try and you, help him out. Because I don't think oh, I think Green it was second round. So the first, of the first pick of the second round, they got a wide receiver. I don't remember his name to try to uh, get a weapon for him. Um yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, I mean, Tua went to uh, in uh, pick five. Tua went to uh, the you know Miami, Miami right? Dolphins, and yeah. I I, that, I think that's a team to watch out for. Uh, they did put effort last year. Uh, yeah, but so, he's like injury prone, so yeah. that's his biggest issue. Is when he's on the field, yeah, but is he gonna be on the field? Yeah, we don't I, know. I think that you know, since right now I don't, I, I'm not gonna follow the Houston Villo shits. Um, I'm gonna more than likely follow another team. I was thinking maybe the Browns or Miami, and with this, maybe I might just start watching Miami to see the development of another quarterback. Yeah, the Texans drafted a D tackle yeah. Blaylock uh, the in the Texans second round. The Texans don't exist. It's the Houston Bill O'Briens. <laughs> it's the Houston Bill O'Briens. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, not a lot of like. I mean, I, 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 I it's nothing like blockbuster during the trade where you're yeah, like, whoa, mm -hmm. this is crazy. Uh, no, nothing really. Nothing I mean, major. C.D. Lamb fell kind of farther than and you could tell, anybody bro, expected. You and could the tell Cowboys got themselves another toxic. weapon. Like, bro, that you can tell that foo is toxic. You can just tell, bro. Bro, it man. looks like they're trying to give Dak Prescott all the weapons in the world to succeed. Hey, man. And when you I can only know, throw, man. When you can only throw 20 yards and that's it, you're Matt Schaub. <laughs> and Matt Schaub ain't shit. <laughs> Matt Schaub sucks. Uh, so I, I never thought Dak Prescott looked like an elite quarterback to me. He looks like a, a good, you know. He looks average. Uh, he looks average, well, I mean, but a very good on-the-field manager. You know, his first year he was pretty team. good, but I don't but know, that's how it always downhill. is. But yeah, until, until team is. other teams yeah. figure you out, like like that's yeah. how it usually is. And, they and then the Green out. Bay, the Green Bay Packers yes. got a a quarterback, a quarterback. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brett Favre all over again. You know how Brett Favre was there in the yeah. Aaron Rodgers, yeah. Damn, yeah, so bro. they drafted this guy, Aaron Rodgers, still the starter. Is Aaron Rodgers going to take him under the wings, or is he going to treat him like trash, like Brett Favre treated him? That's going to be good to watch. Oh, oh he's going to treat because uh, Aaron Rodgers is a diva. He's going to treat him like trash. Yeah, but the guy fight, plays through injuries, so I, I feel like this year, if he gets injured, no way he's coming off that field. Like, the guy's going to go out there with a cracked rib. A fucked up shoulder. Fucking limping and shit. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, he already did it anyways. The guy always played kind of injured anyways. Yeah. Uh, so now I don't see that man coming off the field at any moment. Um, but uh, both in the Green Bay and the Miami situation, it seems like they drafted these quarterbacks to kind of sit for a while uh, and learn the scheme. Miami? Learn how to... Tua, Tua's going to start. I have a feeling Tua's going to I don't start. think so, man. I think really? they're going to sit him as – as much as they can. I think yeah. if the team's uh, under 500 by the midseason, I think they'll put him in then. But I think if the team is doing well in a Tom Brady-less division, yeah. uh, I think they won't put him in. Yeah. Um, so gonna I think it kind of depends. Patriots are going to win that division, hands down. Oh, God. They, have, the, they have the best coach of all time. Look, I'm, looking at yeah. the, I'm looking at the draftees. The number 17 draft pick by Cowboys is a, run, a wide receiver. Yes. Bro, his Correct. name is... 
His name is CD. Oh, CD. CD. Yeah. Right. Yeah. CD. Well, I mean, that, that's yeah. perfect because you know they've always been known as the Dallas Felons, so I mean that works out pretty good. CD so. Lamb. <laughs> hey, look, I'm gonna just tell you this: Jesus. it's it's exciting to see, like, you know, Miami try to get better. Now that, you know, because and just as a segue, you know, Tampa Bay also is going all in on on Tom Brady. They went ahead well, and they, they got a wide receiver. Not yeah, only they just that, got Gronkowski, too, didn't and they? And they got Gronkowski, too. So adding True. Gronkowski, who was just like, that was Did a big surprise. Did you see that video moving, that Tom Moving posted? into our next <laughs> Yeah. Tom posted that video of him using that, that horn thing to call for, for backup, and it was like Gronk. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to find that. It's on I Twitter. Mean, I'm not scared of, of, of Gronkowski. He's injury prone, he, and, he, and later in his career, he was injured constantly. So I don't think he's going to be on the field too much. But Because think, of types of hits he takes, like guys can't take him down on the upper body. They have no choice but to go for his legs, for his knees. I don't so know. So that's resulted in him getting a shitload of injuries because Gron- you can't take Gronk down easily. You got to take his, his knees out. And, hey, I but saw I, Earl Thomas knock the shit out of him. In the upper body and cracking um, legs. Yeah, that doesn't happen a lot. Um, but I think it's a good move by by Tampa Bay to. I mean, they already have a crap load of weapons on offense. They have Mike Tom Evans. Was always, yeah, and Tom was always comfortable with two tight ends. Uh, that's a huge system that they ran in in Patriots when mm-hmm. they had a uh, Aaron Hernandez and uh, Gronk together. It was that two tight ends. <laughs> had, when they had he who must not be named. And, and yeah, so <laughs> so I feel like Tampa's trying to like you know what this is the system Tom liked most let's get let's try to do that so now they have uh, the the current tight end was really good I forget his name yeah um and now Gronk wide receiver they drafted a wide receiver I mean these guys are straight I mean, up offensive just line the offensive line for Tampa Bay is actually pretty good it yeah. was just that Jam- Jameis Winston was trash that was yeah, the only true, you know true. So it's crazy, man. Like this team is really like putting everything into Tom Brady. And uh, they're OJ looking really Howard. dangerous now. Yeah, OJ yeah. Howard. OJ yeah. Howard. Man, they He's still have Nadomikin too as well. Holy shit. Yes. Shoot. They have a they so, have a Yeah, that's defense. why they, they kinda like their their defense has, was set. It really their offense that need to work. And it seems like that's what they dedicated their whole, uh, whole off season to. And it, and it looks like it's working because I mean, these guys it. are now uh, one of the front runners in the NFC, like without a question. Wait, wait, let, let, let's stop that because Tom Brady <laughs> is not going to have what he had when he was uh, in the AFC where he had to face Miami's trash ass. He had to face fucking the Bills. Now he has to face New Orleans Saints with Drew Brees. And Drew Brees okay. don't play. No defense. Drew with Brees. No defense. Drew Man, Brees don't be play. Fun to watch. Do we don't play and and Carolina and Carolina Panthers with McCaffrey um, and their yeah, little it. quarterback? Uh, they they ain't gonna take that. That's easy. it, McCaffrey. A- and Atlanta, <laughs> and Atlanta. Don't forget <laughs> payback. Atlanta payback, <laughs> baby. Not so that they can choke again. Hey, Please, I, hey, Atlanta. Hey, you can talk all the Fine. shit you want. Uh, he's not gonna. I'm telling you right now. When he goes eight and eight, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear shit. You want to take a bet on it that he wins the division? Uh, I I I'll, I'll take that bet. That he doesn't. Another he does $20. not. Win. He does not. He's going okay. to destroy that. He's not going to win that division. He's not going to win that division. He's not going to destroy that division. He's not going to win that division, and he's not going to destroy it. You're stupid if you think that. He's going to destroy that division. He's going to destroy that division. You're a dumb fuck. Twenty dollars. You're on. You're on. Twenty dollars. He's not going to win that. He'll be in a wild card. He'll be in the wild card, but he's not going to win that division. He's winning that division. And you've been wrong before. And I'm already. And, and when it comes to football, your ass is wrong, the motherfucker. All right. Well, we're going to see what's that's going to happen later on in the future. That cuts it off for sports. Let's move on to our last little segment here. Pop culture. Pop. pop. All right. Uh, like popcorn. <laughs> uh, Avatar. The last airbender. Actually, the anime. Not the, the movie. Original, not the movie. We'll be hitting Netflix in Yay! May. Which is actually Netflix. really good. I mean, this is yeah. all in line too because they're they're gonna be releasing the live action version of the Avatar. So no. it makes sense. They already did. It's already on Netflix. <laughs> Wait, no. what? Yeah, they just they need to burn that movie from existence. Just bro, no, no. Uh, the the actual series. The actual series. I know, but, is you, gonna be a live I know, but you said the live action. Oh, they're doing a live action series too. Yes. yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I. I they just gonna screw this up even more. I like Airbender. Um, you know, I think when I watch it now, it's like a little too um, cheesy. 
But well, that's I the whole point of it. It's supposed to be cheesy. It's, it's, yeah. a kid's, it's a kid's show, you know? But it still gets to their high lows when they start using, you yeah. know, their powers and shit like that. But I would say... And it's, a, uh, it's American-made. This isn't like... Yeah. This is an American-made cartoon show. And that's, that's why I dubbed, appreciate so. about it. Uh, it's not... I mean, don't get me wrong. I love anime, but to see the greatest something thing. anime-ish... No. The greatest thing Japan has ever released is animation. That's a great anime. No, anime. And you, I know. You really, you really you have to be careful about how you describe it because Japan Japan animation is Japan anime. American is anime. We've got to remember to keep that, that distinct because it oh. is two different things. No, I'm not making no, that I'm distinction. That I know. I know. It's just, there's a lot of things that Japan animation is that we know from Japan. I just appreciate the you know. show. Americans have made a contribution towards the anime world and i i appreciate it i mean look I, I it's a great show i'm gonna watch it netflix once again they lose friends they get airbender and um people are gonna always like you know airbender now they're making a yeah. live series we just gotta get we gotta get rid of that live movie we just gotta destroy it yeah just away. don't let m night Shyamalan do it we'll be okay uh, no <laughs> not even him either no that's what i'm saying don't don't let him do it don't let him do it don't let him do. Don't let him do any more movies. JJ yeah. Abrams. Well, no, he's, oh, he's good. Oh, he's, he, was, he was okay with he the movie. He saved Star Wars. No, he destroyed Star Wars because by, by not doing the second movie like a dumbass, he destroyed the Bro, whole. Bro, that's Star Wars. Disney. Nah. He, he he wanted to. Yeah. Disney didn't let him do it. No, see the nah. Star Wars, the third, third Star Wars franchise wasn't even supposed to happen. George Lucas did not want that to happen. Mm-hmm. And, that's, oh, and then when he, when saw, he got sold to Disney, sold they the said, "Oh, guess what? We're doing it now." You no, know, well, you know. he sold the series off. That's his fault. Well, yeah, but he remember, it may it. not have been him. I don't think he was in charge when it got sold. I think it was the uh, well, CEOs. No, he the was CEOs. in charge. No, he, he, no. No, no, he wasn't he in charge. Was he, he turned over, yeah. He turned over. So, he wasn't in charge. So, I mean, He whatever. sold that shit. Well, Motherfucker's <laughs> rich, and you don't give a shit about what, what happened to Star Wars. Point. Not one <laughs> shit. Point. Not one shit. But, yeah, uh, shout out to Netflix trying to anyway, yeah. after losing friends. Because I'm going to tell you, losing friends hurt me, man. I, I like watching friends. I, I'm, I was know, hurting friends. when they lost uh, How Go I watch the Peacock stream. You go download Peacock, oh motherfuckers. No, so go, watch, peacock. go watch Tiger King, bro. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Speaking Come of on, talking about watching series, the new Pokemon anime season will premiere on the U.S. Netflix. Uh, according to Polygon here, let me pull it up. Uh, anime season would be hitting on Netflix US. I thought there was this only like on like like Cartoon Network. I think they would they've been on Cartoon Network. Netflix is yeah, adding the so. latest season of Pokemon anime known outside of Japan as Pokemon Journeys, the series. Again, this is from Polygon. Uh to its lineup in June, thanks to Cal- uh Koala Collab. I can't even spoke right now. With the Pokemon Company International, the series will debut on the US in the US on Netflix on June twelfth. Uh, when the first 12 episodes will ar- arrive on the platform. Episodes after the initial dozen will be added quarterly for the rest of the season, Netflix said Thursday in a news release. The company also revealed the first international trailer on Thursday. You can watch it here. Um, so I... it was my understanding these these were like on regular TV, and now they're just coming to Netflix, which kind of makes sense. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, I mean, JD, do you, do you really watch Pokemon? Because I don't. <laughs> I have seen a few episodes here and there. I never really, I haven't really watched it like religiously like some people do. I mean, it's, I like it. It's, it's actually an interesting show, but I'm not like a huge fanboy of it. I play the Pokemon Go game every now and then, but you know, it's, it's like I said, I, I do like it. If I were to catch up, I don't think I have um, five years to catch up on all the back series. So, <laughs> uh, but you know, and all the movies and all that other stuff. But I mean, yeah, that's it. It's an interesting show. I do, I do enjoy watching it when I do watch it. It just I don't keep up with it, you know. Lows. Um, I think the problem with it is it's so difficult to watch at like now. You like either you gotta DVR it and record it, or you download the Pokemon Watch app, uh, the Pokemon app, and you can watch it there. What mm-hmm. the fuck? The Pokemon, there's a Pokemon TV app, yeah. but now oh, wow. that it's really accessible on Netflix, it it should make it easier to watch. And to be honest, like. Uh, Pokemon is a good show now. Like it's, I think it's still entertaining. It's just so hard to watch now. It's so hard. It's so much more difficult to see it. Right? It's not on a streaming service. You gotta download a specific app. You can only watch it still on your phone or you still... DVR it. Yeah, it's yeah. As it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, age. They're all, it's, been, it's been 20 years they're all still like in, in their teenagers hey man, dude I, I, uh, one time I was like watching a YouTube video about the voice actors and then like I saw the current voice actor I was like oh okay whatever that's cool and then like 
like there was another video next to that one and like it was the original voice actor because i know they changed the voice actors yeah. uh it was the original yeah. voice actor for the ones that originally aired in the u.s the dub version like i remember her, their voices and i loved all their voices that cast for the original <laughs> for the original anime when it first uh, came out in the u.s for the dub version and like dude like once you go into like their history you're like man like they, that original cast they really got like hoed so bad because like um the Pokemon company pretty much is the one that represents like Pokemon here in the States. So they're the ones selling the rights to the shows and whatnot. And like, uh, they found like, they found out like, uh, when it was with four kids, like, you know, they, they were there for a couple of years and like, they took a lot of credit for like having like Pokemon grow to where it's at because I mean, I mean, it really was a great show. Like the way they voiced it, their voices were great. The, the way everything was running was yeah. great. But then like, it, it turns out like the Pokemon company ended up like selling the rights to this other, uh, uh, animation studio that pretty much did it for cheaper. And, wow. <laughs> and then they fired everyone and they got a whole new cast. And since then, like you can always see somebody always talking about how, how the newer shows are not as like high quality as they used to be. How like, like whenever you hear like see the original cast members like talk about something in conventions they were like like yeah like we always get like questions of why we're not back or this and this and that and like they even have like petitions to bring back the original voice cast <laughs> like this shit is so like oh damn that's a lot of drama <laughs> i mean I, I especially when it comes to something that big i, I don't i don't know I, I think we take a lot of voice acting for granted in which uh, yeah. obviously makes video games and stuff like that what i can say is pokemon is big as fuck and Whatever they do, kids are gonna love it, and they're, yeah, they, of course. They, the kids from back then they're older now and they're having kids. So Animal Crossing has the best voice acting ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, Ooh. right. So like, so like the Sims. Than Final Fantasy. Sold more copies than Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. I was gonna do this. If you're a real gamer, you don't play Animal Crossing. If you're a real gamer, see, you buy see, see? What's... the silence. If you're a real gamer, the silence. You're a real gamer, you buy what's what's most, what people no. buy. And no, you don't. As a gamer, crossing. you actually play games. You don't try to build a town. This ain't The Sims. If you want The Sims, you can do it on your computer. Nope. Animal Crossing. <laughs> you can do it on your Switch. No. That's why I sold out. <laughs> hey, Switch. All Switch right. Army. Legend of Zelda is going to be that Speaking of selling Good out, with Xbox. No the buy Mandalorian begins pre-production for Season 3. We haven't that means, seen Season 2 yet. I know, and that means that I think that Season 2 is going to come out a lot sooner than October. October. Season two of Animal Crossing is gonna be. Better. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, nah, uh, no, nah, I'm hyped for Mandalorian. No, nah, I'm hyped for Mandalorian. Yeah, there's no reason for them to push it up. It, it should come out in October, especially with everything going on now. That why why Russia when you can't you can't really like uh like push the season three yet because of all the situation right now. Yeah. So it makes and sense the, to keep it where it's at. But I mean, if you release it right now, everybody's home. Yeah, yeah, but then, but then, bro. but then you you will still have to wait even longer for season three. So right yeah. now, we'll just keep it where it's at, and then like that way, there's a fair spacing in between. What the bro. hell is that? <laughs> bro, <laughs> and, and, release it now. As long as it's not like uh, Game of Thrones, uh, JD, I'm happy. Uh, J yeah, that Game was of Thrones such a that was a sad ending. Cream. Yeah, <laughs> the Mandalorian is gonna die. <laughs> oh my Damn, god. Spoiler alert. Eventually. Spoiler eventually. alerts. Eventually. But, no, yeah, yeah. I, I do admit, I did like the way that they released the Mandalorian because it made, made sure that you didn't just, you know, let me just get my one month subscription and cancel as soon as it comes. No, you had to actually stick around for a little bit. So you're going to make sure, they're definitely going to make some money off that. Yeah. That series, you know. They made money off me. So, <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm for like so. two um, from, <laughs> from CNET, there's actually an article here that says that quote, oh god. <clears throat> Uh, what they know about season two, and uh, I'll, uh, it says I'll start it in October 2020. Uh, Disney Bob, Disney's Bob, uh, boss Bob Iger, who since stepped down, said in a February 4th earnings call, he also mentioned the possibility of some of the show's characters could go in their own directions in terms of series, hinting that we might see some Mandalorian spinoffs as well. What do you guys think about that? I can see that with Maybe the, Yoda. Uh, the chick who did it. Yeah. Dedicated show. No, I think just leave it to man. That's the thing. That's a, that's why I hate big fucking production companies because they want to like just milk the money. Like do something different. Milk what you have and then do something. The Star Wars universe is so big. You can make a Jedi show. You can make. A, I think they're gonna follow what's her name, his sidekick, for a little moment there. They uh, could do a prequel for her. I think would be a good idea. Just do a series yeah. prequel for her. Show us the, how the she can be what What's her name? Yeah. Uh, 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 Gina uh, uh, something I think it is Gina Carano. Yeah, Gina. Gina yeah, whatever. Carano. But, but yeah. Uh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. So her character, I'd be 
feel like if, if, if they're talking side quest shit, I could see them doing that for her character. Yeah. She was like in the military before and yeah. something happened and now and she was like her... Yeah, she was a stormtrooper, yeah. Stormtrooper, yeah. Oh, oh shit. So that would be interesting. Finally the stormtrooper story we really wanted to see, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. She's All she's right. kinda hot. All right, oh, yeah, all, right, all right. Well, that's going to end it for our JP, main what do you podcast. Think? <laughs> wow. Let me give dynamics and shit. Let's, <laughs> it, let's wrap it up with, uh, what, a final punch? Or what have you been playing? Okay. What have you been doing? So I have Jesus. been watching Ozark, okay? It's three seasons in. I keep. I was kept hearing all this hype about it. I was like, okay. Bro, my, my girlfriend's been watching that, that shit, and it's uh, so annoying. What the fuck? No, fuck, bro. Fuck, fuck, it's, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck you. It's, what the fuck is that? Like, that girl's bro, like, voice is so fucking annoying, bro. <laughs> okay, the daughter, the daughter, yes. That's the worst character fuck, fuck, in, the, in, the, in the show. But every, all the pluses over, bear, over, you know, fix that one negative, whatever. But anyways, I started watching it. I just finished the first season. It's really good. It's a uh, kind of a mixture oh. of a uh, family guy, it, it's breaking bad for money laundering gotcha mafia and that kind of shit so uh i really like it i'm only one season in one season in there's two more seasons to go i would recommend it so far i still want to watch the re- uh, other two seasons but it's really good i'm a, i'm addicted i've been having dreams about mobsters All and right, shit what so the hell? It, okay it, yeah, yeah right, moving on, on moving on yes uh Guys, I have been playing Final Fantasy VII and Resident Evil 3, but I also have been watching an anime show called Hakyo. Uh, it's the volleyball one. With, you know what I'm talking oh about? Oh, my God. Hakyo, <laughs> Hakyo Yu. Hakyo Yu. It's about, it's about this little kid who's like five Fucking foot two. Fucking kill me, man. And he's like gaining a volleyball. It's really good. It's so badass. I suggest you guys watch it. It's very volleyball. Like, Yes, it's volleyball. It's, it's all the high. proportions oh, correct for the lady. Oh my god! No, it's it's, it's, it's the men. It's men it's versus men. men. It's men oh versus men. Right. It's really good. It's Hakyu. Uh, it's H I H A I K Y U Hakyu, and uh, it's a great it's a great anime. I suggest you guys watch it. It, it is very entertaining. All right, Jimmy. I always suggest you you guys don't watch it. Uh-huh. The only thing I've been doing lately, lately as I was uh, I got on Netflix, I saw the Big Show show, and I gotta I'll be honest, I was. Pleasantly surprised. I was expecting the some big really... show show. Yeah, it's yeah. it's, it's there's that? some. Well, it's it's with the uh, the big show from WWE. He plays a dad. Oh, who's trying to, you know, okay, his, okay, you know, that came out. Yeah, it's been out since uh, April six, I think. Is when it came oh, from. Yeah, okay. April six. Okay. Um, what about Tiger it's King? Not, it's actually not bad. I mean, I mean, it's it's a lot better than Tiger King. Um, oh. You haven't watched Tiger King? Nah, Tiger King is awesome. No, but seriously, I mean, it's it's got it's it's a typical you know sitcom. It's got some corny stuff to it. Some of the acting is a little bit odd, but I mean, the, as far as the big show goes, him and his wrestler friends, they did a really good, a good job acting in this, and it was it was entertaining, it was funny, it was it's worth watching. It's only like eight or episodes, I think. Okay. So I mean, it's and it's like I think they're like half hour episodes maybe. So not it's fair. not it's not yeah it's not bad. It actually was pretty good. I, I would I would recommend people watching. I think you'd enjoy, would enjoy my, it if you, if you like the if you like the big show, you'll enjoy it. So my favorite part of a, a Tiger King is when he's like, oh "Are God. you sure you're straight?" He was like, so when you watch porn, do you like, do you watch when he puts the big one in or the little one in? And the guy's like, oh, I watch the the big one. He's like, well, then you ain't that straight. <laughs> Anyways, That's I've, been, I've been playing, That's I've been playing uh, Predator Hunting Grounds. That oh, man, how dude, is that? it's fun, dude. Like I was playing that uh, yesterday during my 12 hour stream and like, uh, like it, it's fun when you play with a whole bunch of people that, you know, it's like up to five people. So it's like one predator for for uh, soldiers, dude. Oh, it, it's really good. Um, uh, but playing it like for we played it for a good couple hours, a good like solid three hours. I want to say probably more. Uh, I need more maps. I need more content because the jungle. Not, that's all you get. It's it's not bad, dude. Like it's really good. It's fun. Uh, we had a little bit of, like technical problems in the beginning, but we figured it out. But uh, yeah, it's really good. I recommend it. Uh, it's not even. We, we should play. It's like forty bucks. It's a PS4 oh. exclusive, but it's also oh, on. It's it. it's it's also that on. That catalog PC. just keeps growing. It's also on PC. Yeah. Catalog just. We, keeps we were growing. playing it. We were playing it on PC. <laughs> nah, if it's PS4, I can't play it. <laughs> 
Only Final Fantasy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for everybody who was watching on the YouTube side, listening on podcast platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, and many, many others, all brought to you by Anchor, which lets us distribute the podcast for free on those (laughs) <laughs> those platforms okay. uh make sure you uh, make sure to leave us a comment here on the youtube side you can also find us on twitter instagram facebook and what is it your mom what you said Los? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> your mom all right guys Yo, thank you so much all right guys we'll see you next time Thanks so much see right. y'all later Turtles. hey man that michael J- jordan documentary that's a good documentary too i got oh uh, yeah